This is Good Taste Brekkie with Chloe and Ellerina this morning. Now, one thing we really enjoy, Ellerina, is chatting to icons of Australian music. It is the actual best and we definitely have a, an icon of Australian music with us this morning and I'm so excited. We do indeed. He is the lead singer of The Screaming Jets, Mr Dave Gleeson. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, guys. How are you going? Really good, thanks. How are you going? Oh, I'm not too bad. I was only thinking, Chloe, the last time I saw you was about 20 years ago when I released my uh, my solo album, which no one heard of. Um, <laughs> but I did a, we did a thing at Channel V uh, at the Newcastle Foreshore. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the bus tour. That was awesome. Yeah, that's 20 right, years ago. Right. You guys aren't oh, that old, no. are you? No, it's only 10, <laughs> 10 or so. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, mate. It's been a while, that's for it sure. Has. <laughs> so what's been happening with you? You said you went to your son's uh, concert last night. What was that all about? Oh, they're excruciating. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was uh, everyone who does music at his school, and thankfully it's a small school, uh, got up to perform a piece. So there was, uh, there was some drum <laughs> Kids just playing drums to no musical accompaniment. That's always brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> there was a bit of uh, some some uh, some band singing. It's my son, he sings in the school band. Uh, uh, so yeah, it was. Uh, it's, it's always it's lovely to watch your own kids. Not mm. so much fun watching other people. Spend another two hours watching <laughs> other people's kids. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's like uh, it was never going to end. Oh, Dave, that's funny. I've got an autistic son and he went to a concert recently and he's got no filter. He he got to the point where a girl got up to sing A Million Dreams and he stood up (laughs) in the middle of it and said, Million Dreams? More like a million nightmares. I'm out of (laughs) here. If only we could get away with it. And I was like, yes, sorry, excuse me. I should probably follow my son. (laughs) I really don't want to leave. but uh, (laughs) There's my out. (laughs) Yes, you're out. Uh, Now, Dave, you... You uh, just recently went to Darwin with the Angels. What was that about? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, obviously, the 13th of March for, for, the, for the Screaming Jets and the Angels was when everything was, uh, the pin was pulled on everything. Mm. And uh, yeah, Darwin was, uh, Darwin on the weekend, the Angels, Nolsey, um, the Super Jesus uh, all played up, uh, and, and the Poor, another band from uh, from the Goldie. Uh, we all played at Darwin to an actual crowd, no social distancing. It was just incredible. It was wow. amazing to be part of. Yeah, and I noticed you got your pins out, mate. You had the, the yeah. legs on display. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time they'd seen sunlight in like seven months. So. <laughs> It wasn't great. I thought it was, it was a uh, special was just... filter you were using on your <laughs> on <laughs> some your camera. Socks. They are white. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I've been called Space Ghost from time before. But, uh... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Dave, we're chatting to you today because you're about to release a five-track EP uh, titled Bitter Pill. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, we were supposed to, the Jets were supposed to go into the studio around April to record a new album and... Um, things happened as they did, but uh, we decided to use the time to kind of embrace the technology. A lot of people do it, um, you know, you rec- record drums and bass in one place and uh, vocals somewhere else and that, so we decided we'd better check out how that technology works and the best way to do it was rather than do it with new songs, we thought we'd uh, test it on some some old songs that, uh, that we've released over the years and it came out really brilliantly. It's... Uh, it's amazing that, uh, I mean, the, the real magic happens when you're all in the studio together. And I say magic, uh, drinking, uh, carrying on, et cetera, et cetera. Banter. But, uh, to, yeah, banter, just mucking around. But to be able to uh, to, to come up with something like we did that uh, sounds so punchy and live and vibrant, um, all in different parts of the country, gave us a bit of a, uh, a new kind of respect for that type of recording. Tell us why you chose these five. Um, well, they're obvious crowd favourites, um, and, and uh, I, I guess it goes a little bit crowd favourite and the, the songs we really enjoy doing as well. Um, we didn't do better, which um, obviously everyone knows us for better, but we must have recorded <laughs> maybe 500 times over the uh, over the journey, you know, whether that be on, on television shows or whatever. So 
Uh, we picked five other songs other than better. Um, and yeah, just one, just ones that we enjoyed doing, and uh, and ones that we thought we'd uh, we'd get a, a great result out of uh, once we recorded them. Dave, Better has like fifteen million streams. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if they paid us a dollar for each one. Of those. <laughs> you would. don't get paid. Someone must. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Not us. that would be nice. Well, we are going to play Helping Hand right now, and you've reworked it and even sort of semi-retitled it. Well, tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, well, that was that was a bit of a uh, you know a bit of a, a, a nod to the fact that uh, that the COVID uh, was around, so helping washed hands. Um, <laughs> we, we didn't change any of the words in the song; we changed the title. But yeah, <laughs> and that was another thing we tried to stay, steer clear of was um, was referencing. Like COVID nineteen and everything, and and because I, I I do a bit of radio myself, and I was uh, I made a vow that I was when I next time on ra- on radio, I'm not going to even say the word, uh, mention that there's a pandemic or anything like that. So we caught, tried to steer away from it, but we did call it bitter pill because it has been a fairly bitter pill for everyone to swallow. Mm, definitely, but sometimes you got to swallow that bitter pill to move forward. Am I right? That's right, absolutely, and you know, and, and everyone's doing it, and, and uh, I guess that's uh, uh, one thing that's happened with um, uh, with all of this. I used to sit around going, "Oh, poor me," a lot, um, but there's no one to complain to when everyone's got the same complaint. So you just got to suck it up and suck it up and soldier on, Davy boy. Yeah, Aww. I like it. Well, we're going to play Helping Hand, uh, the reworked version this morning from the Screaming Jets. Dave Gleeson, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thanks, Dave. It has it has been my pleasure. Thanks very much for chatting with me. And go the nights, eh? Go the nights. <laughs> the dragons are gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a dragon fan, but I'll take anything at this stage of the year. Oh, yeah, I just figured you'd be a Knights fan because you're from Newey. Yeah, well, I was, I am, but obviously the the dragons had been in. Uh, I'd, I'd been in a dragons fan since seventy five because I'm old, and um, yeah, and the knights came along in eighty eight. But so they're like my, my second. Teams. Team. Are you land the second team when you're fifty two or not? Is that like a ten year old thing? Uh. They're my second team. <laughs> <laughs> my second favorite. <laughs> Well, let's hope they do well in the comp, that's for sure, and we're going to play Helping Hand right now. Thanks again, Dave. Have a great morning. Thank you very much. Cheers.